we have a very special guest on the desk, a man who's won world title not once, but four times. Mark Richards is with Todd Klein. Yeah, thank you so much, Joe. An absolute pleasure to have one of the legends of our sport. As we sometimes throw that term around loosely, this one right here is a true le legend. Four-time world champ, 79 through 82 consecutive years. Welcome to the set, and uh, what an amazing time down here at Lower Trestles. You've been watching yesterday. You didn't make it down here, but you got to watch the broadcast, MR. What have you seen so far that's really impressed you here at the Hurley Pro? Well, I think, Todd, the, um, the level of surfing has been phenomenal, and also we've been blessed with really great surf here at Trestles. Um, and it's just great to see, you know, the men and the women blowing up in such incredible conditions. And also, it's really great to see the, the on-edge rail surfing and committed sort of powerful surfing we're seeing these days. Um, you know, no one's actually sort of taking it easy and surfing for percentages. They're going for broke on every wave they get. Well, you mentioned the rail surfing, one of the best rail surfers of all time, MR. You kind of set that foundation for the future, that rail surfing. You know, saying that that's still there, what's some of the biggest changes you've seen in our sport since when you were competing? Um, I think that's a question, Todd, I could probably answer in about half an hour. There's been so many changes. I, I think one of the most incredible changes is the Internet and the fact that you can be anywhere in the world, like right now, watching this event live. I can remember when I was um, competing on the tour in places like Japan, South Africa, and also Hawaii, um, to let my parents know or my friends know how I went at home. It was basically after the event, it was like a really fast phone call because phone calls were so expensive, letting them know if I did good or did, did bad in the event. And then you wouldn't see any vision of the event until weeks afterwards. And then you might be lucky to see a photo in a newspaper or something in a surfing magazine. So I think it's really amazing for surf fans all over the world and also for the family and the friends of all the competitors in these events that they can be basically at home now in any country of the world watching the Hurley Pro go down. It is unbelievable what technology has done. You know, you're here, obviously, you've got a lot of stuff going on. You're one of the best shapers in the world now with MR Shapes. We've got a, a great Heritage Expression session coming up that's part of this event. You'll actually be one of the commentators for that expression session. You know, we've got some footage looking back at the likes of Michael Ho, Wayne Rabbit Bartholomew, Sean Thompson, Simon Anderson, and Shane Haran. Let's look at that footage and talk to us about some of the surfing that these guys laid the foundation for what we're seeing today. Well, this is a shot of Simon at Bells. This was the, the year he unveiled the pre-fin thruster. And um, Simon put on a phenomenal performance at this event. And there's Michael Ho sort of pulling into the barrel there. I've got incredible memories of Michael winning the Pipeline Masters with a broken wrist, I think, in 1982. And there's Sean. Like, Sean's tube riding was absolutely legendary during that, you know, middle 70s era. And this is the controversial wave where I actually dropped in on Sean. And um, it was totally intentional, I meant to do it. And Bugs at Pipeline, Bugs um, did some amazing surfing at Pipeline. And he was really one of the Aussies that tried, tried to pioneer, you know, getting in the tube backside of Pipe. And also with Shane here, I had some incredible, incredible competitive battles with him. Um, and this was a wave from Honolulu Bay on Maui. I think this was in 1976 or 1977. And we were there on Maui for about three days. And, we had like surf like this for the whole time we was there and it's probably one of my most memorable surfing experiences that, it, that those days we spent in Honolulu. Unbelievable surfing right there and uh, great to have Mark Richards, four-time world champion here on the set. And uh, coming up, we're not sure when it will happen, but the Heritage Expression session with the likes of Michael Ho, Wayne Rabbit Bartholomew, Sean Thompson, Simon Anderson and Shane Haran. MR, from one world champion to another, 1989 world champ Martin Potter has a question for you. Potts, what's happening? Hey, Emma. Um, mate, you, you know, we talk about the things that have changed in surfing. Obviously, board design, one of them. Why isn't anyone riding a twin fin out here? This is the perfect <laughs> way for it. <laughs> Martin, I thought exactly the same thing when I was watching the event for the last couple of hours. Um, I think a twin fin would go incredibly well out here. Also, I think, you know, quads would work well out here. I think it's just that a thruster just goes so well in so many different conditions. And I think the surfers are aiming for a, like a level of consistency where they know exactly what their equipment is going to do. And I think the way we see guys ride thrusters, it's hard to imagine that you could surf on any better. Um, as much as I'd love to see guys riding twin fins out here, the <laughs> surfing we're seeing on thrusters is phenomenal. All right, thank you. Mark, you mind sticking around throughout this heat no, and get some insight from you when these guys drop some scores? All righty, guys, MR is going to stay with us. Make sure you get some updates from them. Strap them down, Clanny. Thanks we so will. much. <laughs>